as you're going to see, just like all of these, right, the way to prove this is by using all of the laws, all these rules that we've established already. So here's the way we're going to do it. Log base A of B, right, this guy over here, log base A of B. Suppose we did not know that it was equal to this. Just suppose, right? So we're trying to work out what is it equal to. I'm just going to give it a name. I'm going to call it K, right, like so. So I'm just going to give that a new name. And then what can I do with this? Well, you know how you went from here, an exponential equation, and you rewrote that same equation as a log equation, right? That's something that you did. I can do the same thing but in reverse over here, right? This is currently a log equation. How would you rewrite this as an exponential equation? Have a think about how you did it before. There's a base here. What does it become in the new equation? Think back to how we did it. The base here becomes the base in the new equation, yeah? I'm going to have a power because I'm about to write an exponential equation. Where does the power come from? It's k, very good. See how, see how this zero, right, snuck over to the opposite side? Well, this is sneaking up into the power, like so. What's that equal to? That's b, right? That's the only number that I have left. It's got to be equal to something, okay? So I pulled the argument out. It's over on the right-hand side now. Now, here I'm going to pull a bit of a rabbit out of a hat, okay? You see how I'm trying to get to this, right? I'm trying to get some common log base, right? So what I'm going to do is, see how this is an equation? I can do the same thing to both sides and it will stay equal. Do you agree with that? As so long as I do the same thing to both sides. Here's what I'm going to do. Take logs of both sides. This is my new base that I'm introducing. If I took log on this side, I'm going to take log on this side. Are you okay with that? Like I did the same, it's like adding two to both sides or dividing both sides by five. I just took logs of both sides. So far, so good. Okay, now we're very, very close. I wonder if like the jigsaw pieces are connecting in your brain yet. Which law, I've got it on the board, you got it in your page. Which law can I use how, now to simplify this? Have a look at it. How can I simplify this thing? I, I can use this last one, right? The power law, right? This power up here, where can it go? I can take this and write it, see where I had it before? I can write it out the front. Do you see that? Okay, so I'm going to switch this guy out the front like so. Now we're almost there. Do you reckon you guys can tell me what to do next? Think about where I'm trying to end up. This is my goal. This is what I'm trying to prove. What can I do to both sides that might be helpful here? I can divide. What can I divide both sides by? I'll divide both sides by this guy. You see that? You see how that's supposed to be on my denominator over here? So I'm going to divide both sides by log base x of a. That leaves what on the left-hand side? K. k, very good, just by itself. Over here, I've got that fraction, that exact fraction, right? Uh, log base x of b, log base x of a. There's only one last thing to do. What, what was k in the beginning? Like I introduced that, right? It's this guy. That's what we began with. That thing that I didn't know what it was equal to. Well, now I do know what it's equal to. That log base A of B is this, which is our familiar law, which we stated before. But now you know why. Okay? So the key part, if you want to um, highlight this for yourself, the key part is this one here. See here? You had to use this law that we established earlier. And the rest of it, it's just a bit of sort of rearrangement with your algebra. Okay? So, these are your laws and how to use them. But I want to do one last thing. Do we have time? Yeah, we do. Okay. I don't want you to just know the laws. I want you to feel that they are true. So I brought a little prop with me. Okay. It's, um, before you ask, Ray, it's not what you think it is. Um, <laughs> can I ask you, underneath where you've written all of, those, um, all of those rules, can I just ask you to write a pair of equations for me? This pair of equations. Okay, I'm going to pull this over here so you guys cannot quite see It's on the inside, that'll do. All right, okay, do you have that pair of equations, just the numbers up here, the ones I've written in red? Yep. Okay, here's what I want to try and do. I want to take all of this algebraic soup and try and turn it into a metaphor in your head that I hope actually makes sense of what's going on, okay? Can you look at these two red equations, the ones that I just asked you to write down? 
These are the same sets of numbers, yeah? 2, 5, 32. Here I'm looking at them from an exponential point of view, and here I'm looking at them from a logarithmic point of view. Here's the metaphor I want you to have in your head, okay? I want you to imagine you have a box, and when you put stuff in the box, it just makes that stuff grow. Just makes it get bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? Now what this exponential equation is asking is, if you've got a box, and like say for example, it's a doubling box, Okay? And you leave it in, you, leave, like you take some object, right? And you leave it inside the box for like say five minutes, okay? It'll double every minute. That's what this box does. It just doubles things every minute because it's like from Star Trek or something, right? So if you leave it in for five minutes, how big is it going to become? Answer, it'll be 32 times bigger than it was before, okay? Whereas this is saying, hey, if you've got your same box, right? And it doubles things. I want to end up 32 times bigger than when I started. So my question now is, how long is it going to take? How many minutes will it take me putting this thing in the box to understand, like, to get to that size? And the answer is, it'll take five minutes. Does that make sense? So this is a question of size, and this is a question of time, right? So I want you to actually picture this, right? You take an object, and you say, I'm going to make sure I work out how to do this. Hold on. There we go. Okay. You take your object, and you put it inside, right? You wait for one minute. And then after the one minute, you're like, oh, okay, I've got two of them, right? That's what this thing does. Make sense? You wait another minute, you put your stuff back inside, right? After the next minute, how big do you expect it to be? After another minute, right? You hopefully expect that, I really didn't arrange this very well. You hopefully expect that it to be four. Are you with me? Okay. We decide we're just going to wait for a while, right? You're going to wait for a while. You're going to wait five whole minutes, but every minute, what's happening? Is doubling, right? Which is why by the end you're like, okay, I got 32 pencils in here and some, um, and some of this stuff that keeps things dry. Okay, so do you get the picture? Okay, now why am I laboring this point? I now want you to come back to these things, these lines here. I want you to see pencils, why this works, okay? Let me put some numbers on this and give you an example, right? Just think about this for a second. I know you already know what it's equal to, but I want you to think about it in terms of this, right? You've got this doubling machine, this doubling machine. And the question I'm now asking you is not about how big things get, but how long it takes to get to that, right? Here's my question. How long does it take you to be, well, what you started with, your original size? How long does that take you in the machine? It doesn't take you any time at all. You're already that size. Does that make sense? So it takes you zero time to get there. Okay. How long does it take you in your doubling machine to get to double your size? One minute. It takes you one minute, right? Because that's what it does. Every time unit, it will double. Okay. Um, think about this. If you have your doubling machine, right, and you waited some amount of time until you were, like, say, four times bigger, yeah? And then you waited a bit longer until you were, for example, eight times bigger, and you did those in sequence, this time plus this time, how much bigger are you going to be by the end? You grew four times bigger in the first instance, and then you put the, you're like, ah, it needs longer, right? So you put it in, it got eight times bigger again, so now at the end, how much bigger is it? It's, it's 32 times bigger, right? It's that amount of time. Are you with me? That's how many minutes? Two minutes. That's how many minutes? Three minutes, and this is the five that you determine. Are you with me? Okay. Now let me really push on you. Okay. Think about this. I haven't written this as a rule, but if you're thinking with me and you understand the metaphor, you'll get it, right? I've got my doubling machine. Now my question is, how long until I'm half the size I am now? How long until I'm half the size I am now? This thing doubles every minute that you wait, right? So if I go into the future, what's happening? I'm just getting more and more of these things, right? They're getting bigger, right? So if you want to get smaller, you don't go into the future, do you? When were you smaller? Answer, in the past, before this actually started, right? So think about how we can use our rules here, okay? Log base 2, I can write this as 2 to the power of what? What is a half? It's 2 to the power of... Think, think, think. Minus Go all the way back. Say it again, sorry? Minus one. Minus one. Do you agree? Right? Negative indices mean you get a fraction, right? But look, isn't this, where have I written it? Isn't this this situation, right? You see I've got a power there? What can I do with that minus one? Where can it go? It can come out the front, right? So this is minus 
log base 2 of the number that's left behind, right? That's in the argument. You already told me that that is 1. You have to go 1 minute in the past. That's when you were half the size that you are now. Because that's what this thing does, right? It doubles things. So when were you half the size? 1 minute ago. Does that make sense? So when you think about all of these things, the metaphor you should have in your mind is time. These are things that are growing uh, exponentially, real fast, right? Logs are about changing the perspective on the same reality. We're not thinking about how big it gets, we're thinking about how long, okay?